So we are in Cahors in France with the Malbec man himself, Fabian Uvis, is um, Les Assais, 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 something like that. Um, so he's most famous for his less expensive bottles like UF My Wine um, and Atable, but um, he is called the Malbec man for a reason because he does amazing things with it. And we were lucky enough to make um, some single plot Malbecs fit in the club. Um, and this one is a dream. <laughs> it's 2017, um, so it has some age on it. I don't know for sure exactly how it was made. I think it had some new oak in it, um, but I couldn't confirm that. So yeah, let's dive into it from there. It still honestly looks very young, um, very like purpley in color. Um, honestly, well, I core bond it, so in theory, I... I would love to age this for quite a bit longer because I think it's going to get way better over time, um, but it's drinking amazing right now. So on the nose, it's just so, so smooth. It smells like, like uh, candied raspberries, but like tart cherries at the same time. Vanilla, that's, there's like vanilla and cinnamon in there, which is why I'm assuming there's some oak. It just smells like delicious dessert, <laughs> maybe like a little bit chocolatey, violets. There's a lot here. Oh, this is like what Malbec could and should be. So let me try it. Man, that was tasty. So everything I just said is there, the finish is so long. Um, it is smooth and round and like the tannins are silky, like they're integrated, but like you barely even notice them because they're so silky and like, they just kind of blend into all these spices and these fruits that are there. Um, the tannin isn't that high. Like when you think about, you know, Malbec and pairing it with a steak, I still think you can, I think it's high enough to do that. Um, but it is not rip your socks off um, super high tannin and, or I could just be saying that because it is very well integrated. So it's tougher to tell. I haven't, I haven't had it with meat yet, so I would have to see, but I'm going to say with confidence that this with a filet mignon would be <laughs> also it'd be great with stews. Um, if you're having game, like if you like stuff like venison or wild boar or whatever, this would be fabulous with any of that. Um, and if you're vegetarian, I would recommend grilling some vegetables and that'll be really tasty too. So a special treat, give it a nice night, really think about what you're gonna do with this one, enjoy. <laughs> 